Greetings, folks. Cross Train here, coming to you again for episode three of our Getting Started series in the game Foundation, uh, an early access city builder, town builder, medieval city builder uh, that I'm enjoying quite a bit. So uh, let's get this rolling. So we are in our town here of West Yinger. Things are going to start happening uh, relatively quick because we are pretty close here to getting our church done. Um, which means that um, we should shortly thereafter level up to commoner, which means we're going to get a couple more territories for free. A couple things I want to uh, catch us up on. Uh, just looking through my town after I included episode two, noticed a couple of things. First thing, in my warehouse, you have to put transporters in here. I was wondering why my slots were empty, and it's because uh, I didn't have any transporters. So, put a couple of transporters in there. Antoine and John went in there, and they're going out to pick up the material to bring into the warehouse to be distributed from there. You can see it piling up in here. Uh, my trader did bring the bread. So I've got 25 bread in here. I'm just waiting for my builder to be finished with the church so he can finish my food stall, which is sitting here waiting for um, the builder to come along and build it. So uh, we're going to get that done. As soon as he's done, we're going to start selling this food we talked about last time this is food i'm picking up in the from uh, davenport and buying it from uh, davenport to sell buying it for 10 we sell it for 12 so for every 25 we sell of course that is a nice nifty 50 gold profit so uh and that's how we're going to fund a lot of our work early in the game another thing i wanted to uh see we i think last time we had just finished the forester shack uh, i got sigismund in the uh, forest shack is our forester, and you can see that he is already replanting some of these trees. If I look at my zones here, you'll see that he will replant within here, uh, and um, so that my woodcutters then constantly have a supply of wood. Uh, so, so that's good. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to move my quest sheet. Ah, two new villagers are coming. That's good, because I need a couple more builders uh, to speed up some things. So let's talk. Let's see. Uh, while we're waiting for this church to be finished, uh, where are we at here? Uh, I've got almost all the supplies. Just waiting for tools to come in. I've only got four tools, so that's a problem. So, well, let's go into the... Let's go in here into the um, trading resource. I want to make sure people understand this because it's a little bit tricky at first. So we're looking at Davenport right now. It's the only trade alliance we have. And we see that Davenport is selling this material and they're buying this material. I've seen some YouTubers actually get this flipped around saying uh, they're looking they're looking for us to be buying this and, and looking to be sell and looking for us to be selling this. It's the other way around. So they are selling tools, bread fish like i said i'm not buying fish for 100 gold per fish uh, and they will buy from me if i have excess uh berries polished stone which is made in a stone mason hut which we don't have yet we're going to probably deal with that in this episode and planks so they will buy that material from us and uh and they will sell to us tools and bread and fish so Right now, the only item we're buying from them is bread. I already explained the reason why. That's for profit. But we're going to go in here, and we are going to... I want to put this up to 10, so I want them to keep my tool inventory at 10. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to buy until our inventory... See what this says? Buy until inventory reaches this value, 10. So I want to always have 10 because it is used in much of the building. So they can't finish my church here until um, I get at least one more tool because that's what they need. They need five, and we've only got four right now. So uh, we will... I just wanted to make sure that people understood what this means. They are selling these items. They're buying these items. So 
With that in mind, okay, we just, again, I don't know if this is just an empty characterization going on right now. It says something about Splendor, but really that doesn't mean anything to me right now because I didn't, I don't have any Splendor here to speak of, uh, except for in the uh, clergy section because the church is coming. So, a couple of things I wanted to talk about, again, and this is it relates to trade. Early in the game, I figured out uh, early in my kind of test playthrough is you want to focus on the buying side, what you're buying from Davenport in this case, what you're buying, things that you can turn around and make a profit on. This is why I only buy bread. Tools are for use. Bread is for actual resale to my villagers as fish would be too. But again, I think this is a bug right here, so I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, so I'm buying bread so I can turn around and sell it for profit. So when I'm in my early game, particularly uh, while I don't have a whole lot of resources, I'm focusing on buying something that I can turn around for profit, bread. I'm only buying tools because I need them to build some of the things. So, uh, But this is a real focus here. As soon as I, in fact, move a little bit further along, I will probably bunk, bump this trading resource up to 50 uh, so but for the time being this is going to be good enough on the uh, flip side I am going to focus some of my early development in terms of what I'm producing in town on things that I can sell I'll tell you right now that what I found is polished stone is something we don't really use until a little bit later in the building so early game I'm going to create a stone mason just so I can create some polished stone just so I can sell it for a little teeny profit. Again, you can see I only make three gold per uh, polished stone. So it's not like there's a ton of that to be made, a uh, ton of gold to be made. But it is something I can sell that I, don't, I won't need until a few more hours into the game and development. So, again, focus your sell. Uh, here comes my trader right now. In fact, let's see what he's got here. Uh, we're going to check out the trader right here. Ooh, trader. He's got bread he wants to sell. He's got fish he wants to sell. I'm not buying that. And tools, as I said. So we should get our tools. Uh, if I have... Let me go ahead and quickly get tools in here. Oh, can I do that? Oh, son of a gun. I don't think I got my tools from him. Did I? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Uh, nope, I did not, because, see, I didn't have a place. Okay, so, there's a good lesson. In fact, you see it in real time. I didn't have a place for tools to come into. So, he couldn't drop off the tools. He had 50 tools with him. And I only wanted 10. But because I forgot to open the slot in the warehouse, son of a gun, didn't get my tools. I'm going to have to wait till the trader comes back around to finish my church. So, that's enough about trades. Uh, I think you get the point. Um, buy for profit, sell for uh, sell for profit as well, and produce stuff in your town for profit. Uh, two things I want to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the build menu. I'm going to build me a um, is it a stone mason's hut that produces polished stone in exchange for stone? Yes. So we're going to get this. And we are going to put it over here, right near where I produce my stone. Okay? This is my stonemason's hut. We'll get a builder. In fact, we're going to employ these guys as builders. These are our new villagers who came in. So now I have three builders that will start uh, working. Ah! My second... Uh, Food market opened up, so I am going to put bread in here, and I have to at this point. Uh, let's see what my jobs look like. So you can see I need a market tender here. Uh, what do I, what can I do without? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to take one of these builders off, which just put on and make them a market tender because it's important that I start making some money with this bread out of this stall here. So uh, Henry should be showing up 
here shortly in here, and he will go. He will go to the warehouse, pick up some of this bread. He probably could pick up all 25 of the bread, bring it to the food stall. There he is, Henry, and uh, start selling it. There he goes right there. So he's got the 25 bread. He's got it in the food stall. Now my guys will start buying it. So that's fantastic. Uh, that's what I want to see happening. Look at how nice this new growth is growing up. Uh, this old stuff is coming down. I figured out the other night, if you guys remember at the end of episode two, I lost a couple houses and I was scratching my head. How the heck did I lose a couple houses? Although, the same thing happened again over here. Look at this. What the heck? Uh, I know what I did over here. I don't know if you guys recall. At one point, I changed with the shape tool here. I kind of changed this. I showed you how to erase and all that kind of stuff. I think what happened was I erased part of the zone where this house was. So it kind of screwed up the... Um, kind of screwed up the the zone and, and again made the house delete right where it was so hopefully they're rebuilding my houses because I lost one here uh, I lost one here which is you can see they're still there they're just not there if you know what I mean uh, and then I lost one here so I'm not really sure um why all those houses got broke down. But regardless, they got broke down. I got a couple more village coming to fix me up. So uh, that's good news. Because I need some more. Again, I want to add some builders in here. Okay, I think, uh, let's see. Those are some of the beginning things I wanted to get into. Ah, the other thing. I picked Waterfront because I wanted to put a couple of fishing uh stalls in here fishing docks in here and the way that you get your fishing stock in this game is you go up to your labor and you've got to have two splendor in labor and 10 surfs and it opens up unlocks the ability to use your influence to unlock the fisherman's hut the lord's manor and a hedge so i need two splendor under labor. So how the heck do you get that? I know how to get the splendor for the church or clergy. Still trying to figure out how to get splendor for kingdom. And I know how to get it for labor. So we're going to do some of that right now. I need two. So I'm going to go into the build. Go into my monuments. I'm going to... No, excuse me. I'm going to go into decorations. Uh, no, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. See? I'm going to go in here oh, under market and I am going to install a couple of food look at the food stall sign I earned 50 splendor for labor just by installing a sign so I am going to take that I'm going to install it right here next to my my food stall watch this and I'm going to start construction on that very good <laughs> going to go back, do that again. And now you'll see that I've got half a Splendor here. Okay? So I'm going to do a few more of those. Go back again to the market. I'm going to put a food stall sign on the other food stall. So over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Start construction. Ooh, look at that. My rustic church is now complete. So, I've got uh, eight Faithful attendance of eight, and there's no priest in this uh, rustic church, so and that never changes as far as I've been able to tell. So maybe that's a glitch bug. Maybe it's coming at some other development time, but nonetheless, it's not there. Okay, so let's shut this down. And see what just happened. I have villagers reach a new status commoner. I got four new buildings that were unlocked. Uh, houses, another house is complete here. A new zone, farm field. So you can see I go up here, I got farm fields now. So we'll talk about those in a bit. And then a quest, the quest is completed, raise your villagers status to commoner. Which means I've got two more free territories, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so you can see if I go up to territories, I can now buy this. And if you look at that hover, you'll see that this is free. It does add to my tax base. 
but I want to get this iron here. So I'm going to get this piece of land and I believe uh, I am going to get mm, let's go for I want to make sure I have enough room for... I'm going to go here because I want this to be kind of a residential along the river kind of uh, area. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that as well. Just unlocked five more buildings and I'm not sure exactly what they are. Oh, look. Weaver's Hut, Sheep Farms, Bakeries, Tailor's Workshop, Windmill, Wheat Farm. Oh my, all kinds of good stuff to talk about. So... Um, so I'm going to use this as kind of a, I could put some more fishing docks here, but I, I really want to use this for, uh, for homes as I, as I go along here. So, oh my gosh, let's see if, I think I got a couple new folks came in. Yeah. So let's make a couple builders, builders for the record. And I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I always assign new folks to builders. Uh, and then I'm going to change this and list it by job um, because then I can so I can look and see how many of each I have you can also hit the job tab down here I had this up a little earlier you can see if any of your production places are short you can see that I've only got two or three foragers assigned right now um, two or three carpenters four or five stone cutters everything else is pretty much full um, so Again, this is just an easy way. If I need somebody else and I can just come in, I'll, I'll pull the builders. But in the meantime, eh, they'll stand around and do nothing for a while. But that's eh, a price you pay for for making it happen. Back to the fishing stall. I want to get this done. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to go, again, back to the market. A couple other things that I can do. Uh, bench. A bench also gives me half splendor. So I am going to go down here and I'm going to... I'm going to set up some benches around my town square. Uh, I think it's, I think it makes sense to do that. Uh, we'll just put it right there. Start construction. Again, we're going to add a couple more benches. Let's go to market, pick up a bench. Let's put another bench over here. Uh, we'll put it right on the edge here. Uh, and we will start construction of that. Now you can see that all kinds of stuff happened right there. So again, I don't know how relevant any of this stuff is. But what I do know is now if I go up here, you can see I now have two Splendor. I've got the 10 serfs necessary. So that unlocked all of these for me now to use my influence. I've got four influence under labor. And I want that fisherman. So I'm going to unlock that. The manor will actually, I'm going to unlock the manor, and that will use up all of my influence for labor. But the reason I want to unlock this is this, in the manor, I can build a treasury, which will increase my cap of gold to 700. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock that, use my influence for that now. So I'm all used up now. Um, but that's how you can increase your your. I can keep adding benches and fences, some of the other stuff that you have there that add influence. We'll go take a look at that real quick. Uh, in the market is, you see, uh, fences, benches, barrels, uh, luxury stall, food stall sign, good stall sign. Uh, look at this, a red tent. I'll tell you something I want to do is I want to actually put one of these tents, and there's a green tent, and there's a blue tent. Those add two splendor each. Um, I actually want to try putting one of those over one of my, I don't know if that will interfere with the work of those or not. That's something we'll try later. I'm not going to worry about it right this minute. So, a lot going on here. Uh, I think I got uh, two more villagers coming in. So I'm now up to 20 villagers. Let's see what my church only nine of my folks, what a bunch of heathens in my town. Look at that. Only nine of them go to church on a regular basis. Good Lord. Come on, you heathens. Get to church. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, let's see what we're looking at. Stone Mason Hut is completed. Uh, I'm going to wait for these two new guys to come into town. So this is my Stone Mason. 
I can only put one. Actually, let me go ahead and take Henry the Builder and make him a stonemason. Let's do that. Uh, so that's good enough. He's going to head over here at some point. And he will start using this stone. Uh, and so there's 103 stone in here. He will start using that and making smooth polished stone, excuse me. Uh, which we are then going to turn around and trade in uh, at market. So, but that raises a point. Um, in my warehouse right now, all the slots are full. Okay, so um, we need to uh, give myself some more slots for stone. See, because they're going to stop working now that this is full. I said it's about 100, and it's full right now. So they're just going to stop working. And uh, until I can get... Where'd you go? Hey, Henry, where you at? Uh, where's my stonemason? Henry, where you at? Hello? Where are you? There you are. Oh, he's going to his house. He's on free time, looking to fill his needs. Come on, Henry, I need to get work, dude. At any rate, Henry will get to the work eventually. Um, and... But in the meantime, I've got to find a place to put this polished stone when it's done, as well as move this stone. So that means I'm really kind of going to be forced to build another warehouse. Oh, and here we go. See, I'm, I'm at minus 12 right now. So this, again, happens early in the game. And this is why I say let's get, um, you know, some food in here. I need my guys to start selling food. Uh, or I need my villagers to start buying food. Okay, there's one that just got bought for 8, 12 gold, I mean. So I'm back at 72, so let's real quick go get a warehouse, grab this thing, and we are going to put the warehouse, where do I want to put it? Um, really want to shoot. Actually, let's, uh, I'm going to put it next to this warehouse, even though, see, I don't want to interfere with my fishing pond either. So, you know what? The heck with that. Sorry, houses. I'm going to crowd you out a little bit. We're going to put this warehouse right in here uh, and, and, and kind of crowd out my houses just a little bit so we're gonna do that put that in there and as soon as that's built we'll start throwing stone in there uh, Henry looks like he finally reported to work and he's already built two polished stone and uh, he's got seven stone in there to work it takes one stone to make one polished stone so uh, Fisher's hut what do I need for Fisher's hut 20 gold and 20, um, 20 uh, wood, which, again, I don't have any wood right now. So that's not a good deal. Get zero wood in here, and I got zero wood. They're just producing wood. So, yeah, it's going to take a minute. But that's what I'm going to need to build a fisher hut. This is something I learned in, in my first game as well. I want this early on. I don't want it late because I'd like to have a real diverse diet for my folks here um, to make this work so I'm gonna have to see where I sit with woodcutters Are my woodcutters full yeah I got three woodcutters uh, I probably should build another woodcutter how about that how about if I yeah let's see if I can do that I realize that we are running long we got a lumber camp I need 20 gold to do it so you know what? That's going to be our next order of business. We are going to get another woodcutter working uh, over here on this patch because I'm going to have them clear out this patch here. Uh, but we're going to have another woodcutter going so we can start driving my wood supply up. But, man, it doesn't feel like we did much today. 
Uh, we did get our stone mason built. We got another warehouse going up. We made sure that we've got this production. We got bread being sold. Talked a little bit about trade routes. Got some houses back in. So it doesn't feel like we did a whole lot, but we got a bunch done. So until next time, I will catch you in the meadows again soon for episode four. Until then, this is Cross Drain from Foundation. Peace.